What is up you guys, this is Black Stories. I want to share my three day experience from the 13th till last night in Vindictus. And for my viewers that don't got a clue what this is, we got a new gym system right now in Vindictus that's been added to the game. And including the new raid, Nephilim. And Succubus Queen is the only raid that's been added there for now until next month. So let me share you my experience, you guys, long story short. So on the first day, I wasn't thinking about leveling up to level 85 since uh, I just wanted to go for the event and started off my day farming for bracelets and gems. And Succubus Queen on hard mode for the very first day was a tragic day for everyone. That's because we're very used to season two and season one raids. Over here, the bosses such as Succubus Queen don't care about death. They don't care about defense. So you're going to have to rely on your dodge more than your attacks in order for you to survive with your party. You guys, it only takes one to three hits for you to get killed from Succubus Queen and once you die in hard mode, that's it. Uh, the party's over and uh, one by one, you guys are basically going to get defeated and you're going to have to start all over again. On the first day, I have to experience how to defeat Succubus Queen on hard on my 20th try and that is of course uh, learning her strategy and what strategies do I have to use with my Eevee to get by on this raid and that's what you see right now in this video my Eevee is using a staff if you're an Eevee I highly recommend you get a staff and start healing your party in this type of raid because in order to get by you're gonna have to learn how to heal more often and stay away from her because uh, for Scythe Eevee, you're going to have to, you're going to need speed and you're going to need a healing artifact. Those are the only two things that you need for Scythe. And once you have that nailed down, you could be able to defeat Succubus Queen in with a party easily with Scythe. Anyways, on the first day I defeated Succubus Queen on hard mode once and twice on normal mode. Which I kind of was disappointed because I really wanted to do it all on hard mode. So the second day came along and I was very frustrated about this raid. I wanted to get more better. I wanted to practice more. And I started kicking people that had 14k of, of uh, attack. Which I really felt bad. So I do apologize if you guys are watching this and you got kicked by me on West server. Please don't take it personal. I just really wanted to uh, win this raid as much as you guys do too. Okay, so let's face facts gamers. We have to be 17 to 18k. At least 16k is okay. But my point is you have to beat her on time and you have to know how to dodge real well. If you don't have none of those things, you cannot beat this raid in hard mode. It, that's just plain and simple. But if you're 14k and you have a friend that's 19 to 20k, then yes, then join it. But don't die. That's all I'm saying. So I'm sorry for the people that I do kicked out on the second day. It's just that this raid is not playing around. <laughs> this raid is not fun when you have to start over again and you miss your chance of getting rare drops. That's not fun. So please understand your senpai. I'm only trying to help you guys out. This is why I'm an MMO Let's Player. I try to give you guys information to try to become that person who you want to be in the game. Especially for the new players. So continue on the second day. I've been going on the forums to see some more information about this raid. And apparently a lot of people can't beat it. And that concerns me. Because uh, if some people can't actually do this on hard mode then we're gonna have to change strategies on how we play like I mentioned earlier this is why we have practice mode so we could practice our timing of attacks and dodges and I'm not just speaking about succubus queen I'm also speaking about future raids that's gonna be coming up real soon and next year Nephilim succubus queen and the other raids that are coming up such as blood lord is a rude awakening for all of us but then again it's fun it's challenging and i must say uh this raid is actually very good this raid is actually challenging and fun call me crazy but 
from the second day been playing this and being so frustrated by just dying with the wrong party and all that this raid turned out to be a real fun challenge and I approve of this raid this raid is actually pretty good I believe they made succubus queen uh, really good at this point because um, I remember when succubus queen was in season one she's totally different in this one of course just be, be, just because they they made a few attacks but it's not her attacks it's her attitude it's her personality of being the succubus queen herself so i found that pretty fun to see that from my point of view and so that's the end of my second day so on my third day it was really satisfying i done all succubus queen raids on hard mode without any trouble at all and not just on my Eevee, but on my Lin also. I can't tell you how rewarding it felt just by beating Succubus Queen all in hard mode. Having a good party by your side, playing with their friends, and winning, winning prizes in this event. Nothing can get better than that. Well, at this moment at least. So I got a few couple of clips I wanted to show you guys. It's opening the gym boxes. And I wanted to share what I got in from this raid, all in hard mode. So, please enjoy. If you really like this video and what I have to say, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and share this video guys. It would help me a lot. I will be making important videos for you guys this month and this coming December, so please stay tuned. Happy farming and game on. See you guys later. Ciao!